Hi, everyone. Well, <laughs> welcome to 33 Days of Manifestation. This is day 14. <laughs> and I'm Bonita. I'm here with Mariam. Hi, everyone. And please, if you enjoy this video, like and subscribe. We certainly would enjoy manifesting more subscribers to our YouTube channels so we can keep making more awesome videos like this. That's right. <laughs> A lot of educational information for you. So on, along the lines of Pendulum, which you've been learning about, mm -hmm. thanks to Bonita's great teachings, um, we're going to do a specific thing today using the pendulum. And again, remember that pendulum can be anything. Um, doesn't have to be already made like the one I have. I just happened to buy this a while back because I like the way it looked. <laughs> and I like rose quartz, but it can be, like Bonita said, anything. Um, so... Doing all the prep work, like we already went over, you want to center yourselves. You want to invite presence in, do some deep breathing and opening your heart. Definitely you want to open your heart so that it can communicate and you want the vibration to be high. So you put yourself in touch with your joy and pendulum, you ask it to give you the yes and no first. You always want to do that so you have a starting point for anything you want to do. So today I wanted to talk about using this for your chakras. Yes, you can actually do this with the chakras as well and even on yourself. You don't have to do it on somebody else. Basically, when you find out the yes and the no, and you hold that against each chakra, you can also visualize your chakra. If you don't wanna like hold something over your head, you won't, you'll have a hard time looking at it, but you want to put yourself in touch with that chakra and you find out whether it's open and it's balanced. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, you ask the pendulum to go ahead and do that for you. And it's going to start doing that. Let's say, let's see if mine is going to do this. Pendulum, can you show me your yes, please? All right, it's moving. Now I will know. All right, mine is very, very tiny movements, but they are distinct. So I get going this way as a yes and back and forth as a no with the pendulum. So you want to hold, you want to, let's say if I'm picturing my crown chakra, is my crown chakra open? Now, you can do this like in front of you, or if you want, you can even hold it in front of the chakra. Yes, yes. For you know. me, it's kind of hard to like go on top of my head and take yeah. a look, but it seems to be working actually. One of the reasons we're doing this is because manifesting with fully open flowing chakras is much more effective. Exactly. And also, I will say, as we, Mariam was talking, I was like, so any chakras need trouble? I suddenly got a huge, like a dagger feeling in my uh, sacral chakra, which is the action chakra. And okay. that makes yeah, sense because <laughs> I've been yeah, feeling a little stuck. Yeah, you create one <laughs> yeah. sacral. So. so, yeah, you know, be ready for whatever comes through. I know my sacral chakra is going to get a big cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you notice that it is not uh, um it is not balanced or not open you ask it to open it up and you basically just allow it for a couple of minutes you just allow it to work and you visualize that chakra that you're working with
see it. Let me bring the one down so you can see it. It's moving. And if you get out of your head and into just being, you can really feel the effect. Exactly. So not to make this too long, but you go down using the same method. And when you feel them all open, ask your pendulum to align your chakras together. Because just because they're open doesn't mean necessarily they're aligned together. You want to make sure that your chakras are all aligned. That way it'll make the flow of energy smooth and your communication and manifestation, you know, like visualization a lot easier when your chakras are aligned. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. This is, this is another use of um, pendulum and another way to manifest. It's just mm -hmm. another tool. Yep. And then check in with your chakras. You know, invite pendulum chakras. Double check. Am I open, aligned, receptive, flowing, radiant? And you may need to do this exercise, you know, a couple of times or revisit certain chakras as it's all going through. Exactly. And then after this, go back to yesterday's video and do some powerful manifestation. Yeah, I mean, it's fun to play with this. So just get to know your pendulum. You know, you can make one up yourself. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but it's really fun to actually work with that because it'll give you a sense that, you know, you understand that you are, in fact, your energies are communicating with each other. It's not just somebody else who's able to do this. You can do this on your own. And like Bonita was doing in the previous exercise to just really communicate with your uh, pendulum and just ask it to help you manifest. You know, mm -hmm. you picture it, you visualize it, and you have the pendulum magnify what you're doing that's basically what it is doing it magnifies your vision and your frequency and then of course always close off with gratitude and appreciation thank you yes. thank you pendulum. thank you pendulum thank you friends of the etheric <laughs> thank you all for joining us <laughs> Bye. have a great day